uh, finally got to the end of this. As you can see, we've got glitch problems again, where I don't have to finish everything 100% because certain ones went over, but even if you take the totals together, it seems like the base level of the game's completion gives you more gems than you would need to complete the game, so you can 110% the game. Well, maybe 101, 102% the game before doing this round. Which is a little weird. I don't really like inaccurate percentages. I like to have like something that says the base game is 100%. And then secret stuff is a little bit more maybe. But like, you know, I know that's a bit hypocritical from a Crash fan. But like... <laughs> oh, it's Bianca. Bonka. Bonkers. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure, but after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch oh, the thieves, no. you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. <laughs> see him in the corner oh, laughing. By the way, Hunter is around here somewhere. Oh, He's been something, something, with one of Hunter. His new toys all day, and he wants to show it off. Hunter's got a drone. Okay. I have kind of avoided this question, or not avoided, just it occurred to me while I was doing the playthrough for this. I've been chasing these thieves all this time, and I don't really know what they are. Like, are they ghosts? Are they mummies? Because they've got, like, bandages. And they look like they don't have any form underneath them. So it's one of those. The same complaint I had with, like, uh, Spyro 1's bonus round, which, or, like, Nasty's loot. Uh, it just feels a bit unearned. It feels a bit like I, you know, the game seems to think that I'm in fucking love with picking up gems, so much so that, like, oh, I'll give you more of what you want. Picking up shiny things. It's like a Super Mario level where the final level is just picking up coins and mushrooms because that's what the game's about, right? That's all you care about, like, not good platforming challenges, not like... I mean, this isn't, too, you know, this isn't a walk in the park, but it isn't exactly challenging because it's the same as Nasty's loot. But I do fuck up in a few places because you can... There's actual hazards here that, like, can be a pain in the ass when they want to be. Also, I don't know why she decided to store all her treasure on top of a uh, frozen mountain with uh, Vimto for waterfalls, but you know, each to their own. Maybe it's because she's a frosty bitch. <laughs> God, I hate this. Like, like out of all of the antagonists of the Spyro, they range from unmemorable to I fucking hate this character and like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I guess good villain, but like, she's just basically the skincare industry, so thanks for reminding me of real life. We're gonna kill endangered species so that we look younger. <laughs> like, uh, okay. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for summarizing basically animal testing. Well, not really, because it's not endangered, but you know what I mean? Just let's kill animals for fun. So that our skin looks a little clearer. Because apparently eating fruit and uh, doing exercise is just too difficult. Anyway, uh... <laughs> so this guy is a bit of an asshole because he's making me jump over shit and like all of these are rounded snow capped edges so this shit happens and I can't get to the a low enough platform in time once I fuck up so that thief's a bit of an asshole for being a parkour legend Ugh. and if you can see with your eyeballs and here with your earballs now. 
This took me a lot longer than any of the other bonus rounds, which you may think, oh yeah, that's pretty good then, so it's actually bonus content. And there are some elements where you're like, oh, this isn't too bad. And then others where you're like, fuck this, why would this be considered bonus? We will look in these doors in a minute, because we don't have enough millions of dollars. We need to scour this entire fucking world of all of its wealth and be the 1%. Man, I once said to one of my friends, man, platformers really encourage, like, I, you know, it's really easy to say, oh yeah, they encourage capitalism, no, no, they encourage, like, obsessive collecting of shiny things, like you're a magpie, like, think of every platformer, it's always, collect the shiny, and like, as a kid, you're just like, oh, collect the shiny, and then as you're an adult, you're still thinking, oh, collect the shiny. <laughs> collect my treasure like a dragon also yeah look at this this like I hate shit like this because it's like there is nothing stopping you from just doing that with every enemy in the game thus devaluing it you're basically showing inflation kill a thief and it just like oh okay like um here's like infinity wealth which is what I'm talking about when I said in Spyro 1 video Hey guys, I got 120%. Yeah, cause in the final mission, every enemy you kill gives you like a thousand gems. It's just like so cheap. It's not like you had to do anything for extra for that other than kill a few thieves. And this guy is probably the biggest challenge of the platforming area of this game. This level, I mean, cause I do shit like this because the camera, I forget to reset the camera as I'm moving and that screws me over a lot. And for one of the mini games, the one where you whack moles with Bentley, you really need to reset that camera all the time, otherwise you are just gonna get murdered by that, so... <laughs> helpful hint for that. There are some difficult to get, um eggs in this but like the ones that I had trouble finding the most were the ones I forgot existed because there are sparks levels in this game and I thought that was just an enter the dragonfly or uh, one of the later ones like hero's tail thing so I was a little bit like wait while well, we do that in this game too and it took me a while, I'd already done one of them and forgotten that there was like three more for me to do, so it took me a while. And I missed, a, I lost a complete speedway, like I straight up forgot where the archway for one of the speedways was, and it was like the easiest speedway, like mushroom speedway, so I did all these hard speedways and was like, still missing three eggs, how am I missing three eggs? Oh shit, World 1 has a speedway. <laughs> And it doesn't show up unless you enter the archway on your guidebook, so... And I never did it, I obviously in the original playthrough went, man, fuck that. I'll come back to that later and forgot it existed, and to be honest, it felt really babyish when I went in, because it's all brightly coloured bugs and butterflies, and they're all going really slowly, so... Ah, oh, submarine. Hi Spyro! Did you see Bianca? Oh, I shut up about your about girlfriend, you man. Fight the sorceress. It was pretty fun. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Want to take myself for a spin? Want to take myself for a spin? I'll take me. What was that cartoon sound? So this is just the same mini game we did in a few of the. Uh, I can't remember which ones, but a few of the water levels and the the toxic water pirate ship level later in the game and it's it's not too hard what's a little jarring is you do this and you get all of the submarines and it doesn't tell you well done you've got this, all of the submarines and teleports you out of this mini game you have to return which is weird because it's different from every other part of the game <laughs> Where it just goes, nah man, you just, you find the exit yourself. Murdered. It 
it's important that we kill everyone who is slightly rich so that we can take their wealth. I am exploiting the middle classes and making sure they recognize me as the true Bezos of this universe. And <laughs> Rhinox like, no, please. Please, I just want to live and have some money before you, a foreign dragon comes in and takes all of my money <laughs> and then leaves my realm entirely forever. You will be the forgotten realm once I'm done with you. Nothing of value here. Spyro colonized it and took it all home. <laughs> what you get for stealing my eggs. Something occurred to me too while I was recording this. There are only male dragons that you ever see in the Spyro. That door opened and my TV volume was too low, so I was like, how come that didn't up there? Oh, maybe it's the wrong door, because I'm a dumbass with low volume. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Yeah, it occurred to me, we're going around saving the dragon eggs, and it's kind of a children of men situation here. Because there are only male dragons, so how's that working out? I I'm trying to go back to Spyro 1. Every dragon you freeze a dude, right? And kind of old. And it's like, no girl dragons are introduced in the first trilogy at all. Like, there are female other characters like Bianca and Alora, but like, wow. Spyro doesn't pass the Bechdel test. <laughs> oh, fuck you, no. World's fastest turbo snowboard course. Oh, yeah, that's what I want in my bonus level. Shit physics. <laughs> oh. I bet. So, ready to race? God, I hope I lose so that you have to rub your dick on this or whatever you said. Oh, great, a tall jump. I'll spin. Yeah. Oh, if you land weird, it goes... Oh, if you touch the edges, it goes real slow. Oh, I was getting rage at this. You'll see some rage quitting in a minute. God, this is awful. Okay, this is one of the this was one of the hardest mini games for me because unfortunately there's a few errors with the HD thing, the HD re-release of this game, where sometimes if you collide with a surface you lose all momentum, including when you're supercharging, which is why sometimes when you supercharge and you get caught on something, he supercharges at a slower speed than his normal charge. This is also applicable to this part of the game. So sometimes you just slightly touch a thing that doesn't really block you from moving and like, or an invisible wall, <laughs> and it just fucks up your momentum. That, that was my fault though, I did land flat on my ass, <laughs> so. And yeah, I'm not really a pro skater bro, so uh, this is not like, and it's not, it doesn't. The, the game feel, the feel for this mini game is is no good. And as you can see, if I brush, brush the rock sides, it just goes moving you 15 degrees to the left. Now to the right, now to the left, and you're like, da, 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 da. <laughs> like a pinball in those, like that shit, what's that? In some cases, I'm not touching the side. The thruster maybe brushes it, but before the thruster can brush it, it knocks me as if I hit the front of it. Oh, no. I'm just collecting the gems at this point. I need to do this. Like, that guy's just quit, look. But I went by him and it didn't... There we go. I went by him and it went seventh. Seventh. And I went, oh, wait, sixth. And it keeps flashing in the corner. Watch it. It just goes, sixth. Wait, 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 sixth. You pass on sixth. Wait, 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 lag, lag, lag fourth. <laughs> You're like, what? So some of the guys in this 
if you're slow or just give up, so you can't actually very often come seventh because the AI either glitches out and he stops a lap early, or he just gives up. And then if you're third place by the third lap, very often any people behind third place will not really catch up with you because the guys in second and first are very far ahead. So if you're with them, they won't catch you and I think it, it's like anti-rubber banding and they just quit <laughs> and they're just like nah but like it will see me be proven wrong a bunch in this because fuck oh no I slightly touched the edge wrong there and fell off that was me I think my tongue is frozen. <laughs> okay. well at least I get to torture hunter throughout this Thing. That is the true bonus of this game, because seriously, like, I really don't like Hunter, or what they did with Hunter in the HD re-release. Oh! Oh, thanks! Great! <laughs> oh, amazing! Finished game! <laughs> right on. Shut up, Hunter. <laughs> oh, I love it when I'm snowboarding and my board just spazzes out and falls into the purple goo. Oh, don't say right on, you're not tubular. Only the turtles are tubular, and maybe the street sharks, but only because I'm biased. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, sometimes you do tricks, and it doesn't give you boost. Sometimes you jump, or just drive, or hit a crab, and it gives you boost. That was good timing. Uh, sometimes, and especially on the third lap, you do tricks and it doesn't even give you boost as a like later like oh yeah I guess that counts as boost lag here you go here's some boost it just doesn't give you boost like if you keep doing like single flips so basically the later in the game you get the more you have to do stupid bullshit like landing quad flips because the game's just like stingy as fuck with its boost for some fucking reason. <laughs> and you're just like, oh yeah, because we need to be elite for this children's game. Like, yeah, like, that's fair. And look at this track, it's a load of narrow fucking shit that, like, if you touch the edges, it punishes you with cancelling your momentum to zero. So that you're driving around like a fucking turd in the wind. Hell, and I just murdered those yetis because they got in the way and out of my way paws. I'm the new money bags. Doesn't matter, they like, they're actually really busted. Like, you, you murder them, quote unquote, for dramatic effects. Oh. Oh. Great. Awesome. Oh, that's, I, I should just quit. Should I just, oh, uh, oh, look how slow, oh, oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, why am I still playing? I'm not gonna win. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I don't finish every race after a while, because like, there's certain points where you're like, okay, I'm gonna be seven for three laps, and it's gonna be three minutes of my life I won't get back, so fuck that. I will get this star. I love how I didn't jump to get that star, so the game punished me by destroying all of my momentum at random. Because I'll do that jump other times, and it will not destroy my momentum, so... Oh, great. Glad when sometimes I do a trick, it just teleports my center of gravity as far away as possible. So, as I was saying, just let me talk to you. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, just give me the mission. I don't want to talk to you, Hunter. <laughs> oh, that was bad landing. Oh, 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 it's so bad, but, uh, yeah, like, I, you'll see later in this game. Oh, great, awesome. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I came for. So, right oh, this beautiful game is so fun! <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having fun! <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see. You falling ass over tit, dragon style. Most of this is my fault, but at the same time, sometimes it just fucks up your thing really badly and sends you spinning off into the void because it's like you tried to do a quad flip but weren't perfectly straight with your quad flip forwards. Now I'm zooming you into the abyss, you fucking Johnny. <laughs> like that shit. Okay, I did a barrel roll to the right. I don't know what I was doing because it wasn't going to land. Why am I suddenly slower? Oh, this game. Oh, fuck. Why are you so happy crashing Spyro, you ass? Show me your war face, dragon. Oh. Oh, no. So I'll get back to what I was saying in a minute. Oh. Oh, it's, it's like sometimes you clip through the snow, sometimes the snow spears your board and you're trapped with like a dead stop with no boost. It's great. Balanced. Balanced, tuned for lean. Balanced for competition. When's the Evo tournament for this shit? Like, every other minigame plays pretty well. This minigame in particular, even the skateboarding trick minigames, I could do them. They weren't great, but it only took me a couple of attempts. Oh, thanks. But this shit, this wasn't designed. Oh, thanks. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. So those guys, yeah, don't feel sorry for murdering them and blowing up their boards because they respawn so fast that they actually respawn slightly ahead of where they were and at like top speed. They don't lose any momentum, they just stop for like a five second period. And then if you get in front of them and you would, oh great, awesome, yeah, cool. <laughs> How many boards have I broken? <laughs> Yeah, let's go down this way. Oh, I can't trick because it's not the certified OSHA supported ramp. Good, good for me. I'm glad that this so in this radical world of skateboarding, we better follow the rules. <laughs> yeah, if you shoot one of these guys and you're not going very fast and you get ahead of them and they respawn behind you, they will just speed by you, but they won't speed by you. They'll speed through you and insta-wreck you and thus make you seventh again. Because this game, you crash, you get to the back of the pack. They crash, they basically stay where they are. Or in some cases, manage to get a speed boost from crashing. Because... Yeah, mmm, great. I've been seventh for two laps. What the fuck is going on? I'm not even like getting a pity win here. Oh, this, look how slow I'm going. What the fuck? Why is it so slow? Why did that not give me any boost? Sometimes it, like, look, that boost gave me nothing. It gave me like a second of and it, look, what am I doing? It's like I'm driving a fucking milk float. Look at this shit. Look at it. Oh, I'm so pumped for this two mile an hour board. Seriously, it couldn't go any slower. What the hell? I can't even make these jumps barely. Oh, great. I tried to go for that and I was punished. This guy's like, like you suck. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Like, so sometimes the game goes, fuck physics. You don't have any speed. No speed for you, sir. It's a school zone. Oh, great. <laughs> that crab was ready to murder me. So, right on. <sighs> right on. <laughs> this may be the worst out of the trilogy for me. I am not just being like exaggerate, melodramatic. I am literally like 
this might be the worst thing. Like, the rest of the base game for 3 was not as challenging, I would say, as 2 in some cases. But, like, even in 2 or anything, it's just like, there's nothing really bad here. There's just some wonky vehicle sections that don't always do what you want them to do. And speedways you may have to do more than once, but honestly, it's just a... It's really not a, like, skill thing. It's just a hit all of the blue stars in the speedway and you will get be faster than the computer because the computer always goes at a set speed there is no real like skill element there's no drift boosting while you're flying it's just hit the star if you don't hit the star well then you're shit out of luck basically hit x out of y number of stars and you will win this may be the worst i've ever had which is not making me look kindly of, uh, <laughs> upon the one Spyro game I have no nostalgia for. <laughs> so, mmm, great wonky landing. Yeah, I'd be angry if I was in this game too and trapped forever just in this mini game. Oh god, it's so slow. I gotta do a quad flip triple banana dip for this one. Oh yay, it gave me some boost. Thanks. Oh well, that kind of worked. Whatever, let's just go with it. Somehow I smacked that guy and slapped him upside his head. Oh, and then killed him again. I'm sure he's having a great day. Bam turbo because it's the only thing that gives me any chance of catching these bastards. Uh, do 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 do. I keep picking these up, but I don't have anyone to shoot. Oh, I'm glad that's too far away for me to ever get. I will shoot you, stationary man. <laughs> I hope your tongue is frozen. That he can just do that on round one with from the start with no boost, that's fair. I got half bar, but now this happens. <laughs> awesome. Fun. I'm having such a bonus fun, you guys. Oh, it's so oh awesome. Great, excellent. Majestic. Right on. Oh, shut up. <laughs> What's getting me through this is that this will be basically the last. Oh, great. Awesome. Mm, yeah, let's look inside Spyro's empty hollow cell, cell, soul self, whatever. What's getting me through this is. Oh, that crab was freaking out is that this will be like the last thing and then I can close the book on this for, for a long time because what I do with like Crash normally is I go oh they re-released Crash or they reissued Crash every time PlayStation do that including the PS3 and whatever and like I just go I'm gonna 100% the game again but this is the first time I bothered to do it with Spyro I always get bored by Spyro 2 and I kind of half ass Spyro 3 and go, ah, I'd be the final boss who gives a shit. So this is all new to me. Oh, thanks, Krabby. I got crabbed. Big crabbing. Yeah, I can make that totally. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Oh, I'm sick. This is gonna go shit. There was one time where I got really far and then, like, the game fell. Look at that shit, you just glitched forwards. Uh, you don't win, sir. Yeah, I got murdered twice, while well, then I still glitch ahead. He's gonna murder me. Wait for it. He's behind me. I can feel the Yeti presence. Oh, well, maybe he won't, because I killed myself. 
<laughs> you can't skip it fast enough to skip him saying every single time. <sighs> Half an hour of me just failing this mission, basically. The rest was okay, a few fuck ups here and there, but like, what is this shit? Glad there's no platinum relic for this stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, the, the sound of momentum and frost is charging is just like it's like catchphrase or some shit. That also annoys me. There's just this all very light and atmospheric and magical kind of sounding with the uh, the sound effects used, and I don't. <laughs> and it doesn't give it like you need to have like a revving sound or a rocket sound, and the only time it does is when he's using the turbo thrusters. But like then it's still that's quite weak source, isn't it? Oh. You can see me jumping in the background because I'm spamming the X, X prompt trying to make Hunter shut the fuck up. Yes. More blood for the blood feud. I don't even know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, just look at this. Look at this track. Take in all of the physics bugs that are like just intended bullshit that um, I was uh, talking about earlier. That crab, I guess, was dead. Oh, there's a. Oh, I keep forgetting that green gem. That guy's already up there, what the shit? How am I supposed to catch him? Oh, great, awesome. Mmm, I don't know how I'm alive, but let's just go with it. <laughs> Intended. Look at that shit, he just ghosted in front of me. Glad they really bug tested this part of the game. It's really working well. He's gonna teleport behind me and kill my ass. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's behind me. Is he not behind me? I'm third. I've got one lap. That guy just clipped out of existence. Was he first place? If he was first place, he's like a whole lap ahead of everyone else and we're fucked. Oh, awesome. Great. Awesome. That was an amazing recovery by me. <sighs> I'm getting better at skipping him saying right on, it's actually hurting my head now. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, I'm touching every wall, because the more attempts I do it, the more pissed off I get, so the more bad. Oh! Mmm! Great! <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome! Fucking amazing! Just spinning off into the purple Ribino void. Yay! No, you're not allowed to do the trick there. Only the AI can trick whenever they fucking want. Because they're the AI. Why is he just spinning to mock me at this point? Yay. Oh, I'm so glad that, that I rocketed down so that all of my momentum would die on impact. Mmm. Feels so fucking good to do this game! I will copy you, sir. You did a flip, I do a flip. Apparently, we just need to be flipping out all of. Oh, awesome! No animation for the ball to be smashed, he just ran my ass over. 
And if they do that, you it teleports you so that they're like you're always seventh and they're half a lap ahead. Basically, do this perfectly, but also pay attention to the busted fucking ass AI that will just try and win no matter what. And just ignore rocket explosions when they don't feel like it. It's like, nah, I want to win today, so fuck you. What is this shit? I'm gonna bomb them all. When racing doesn't work, terrorism will. That guy, I'm just gonna keep smashing into him until he is last. And I'm sure if he does it to me, I will instantly lose the match. I think I spent more time on this mini game than whole levels of this game. 100%ing them. So, awesome. That's what I think of when I hear bonus. I think awful slog. Haha, <laughs> dead. Now I need two more Yetis to scalp and then I win. I thought he crashed himself, but no, they're just doing sick tricks at a very low level without crashing because that's fair. Yeah, who needs momentum and speed? And we can go as slowly as possible to guarantee that we'll lose. Mm. Can you feel the, the slow speed? That was so slow, I had no momentum to touch that star, it just felt bad for me. And even then, what was that? Like, And before the sound effect is finished, it's already cut my thrusters down. Look, what the fuck is that? It's like the game chooses when you're gonna win, and if you just happen to be, like, on the shit physics version of the game, it will just go, no, fuck you. And then if you get to round 3, it'll go, no more turbo boost for you. Also, your momentum is a turd. And this. Hmm. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I could have saved that, but what's the point? <sighs> yeah, like this game. This game, this mini game in particular, fuck this mini game. Because sometimes it just it gives you a random amount of boost, and then sometimes you will get to the final lap and it will go, no more boost for you. And you're like, why? And it's like, no fuck you, no more boost for you. And you're like, but why? And also the stars do nothing now. Because look, look how long it was on for then, and then look how long it was on for when my momentum was shit, and it refused to give me any boost on the final laps. It is completely busted. Stacked so hard in the AI's favor that it's basically like, Spend the first two laps just building a full boost bar, but then if you do that, you'll be so slow that there's no way in hell you will have catched them. They will have lapped you by then. Oh, I hate this. I hate it so much. Oh, great. Glad that was inaccurate. That's what I needed right now. Are you sure? You know, you just don't. You want to let them win a little longer. Yep. Awesome. Glad that, that helped. And now he's going to come and smash my butt off. <laughs> God, that sounds so weird. Oh, God, I hate it so much. I don't know how bad it is. I'm just going to complain. Not much point going for that, it kills momentum and you'd never reach it. 
Yeah, you're dead. Haha. <laughs> Look at this asshole sneaking up on me. Try to murder me again. Oh, I'm glad I'm still third. Oh, awesome. I'm now fourth, third, fourth, third, fourth. Oh, great. I'm glad he can just randomly speed at triple my base. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look at it. Even when I turbo boost, it drops right back down to turd speed again. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look at that. Ah, 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 they've just quit. Fuck this. So, right on. <laughs> Will the physics engine let me win? We shall see. Oh, now I deserve half a bar. I don't know why, other than, like, yeah, apparently, like, double flip, single flip deserves a pixel. Quad flip, here's half a bar. Like, okay. It's the same in the uh, stunt missions, where it's like, hey, if you do a single flip, you will get, like, crap. Like, 25 at first and then it will go down to like one after a few times if you just keep flipping it'll be like you're a thousand and you're like it's literally the same trick but I'm just doing it several times there's no like surprise surprise this spyro skateboarding mini game does not have manualing ollies or anything cool it's just literally like no, you can't plan on the half part pipe, I'm sorry to say. Like, honestly, this makes me want to play a good, like, skateboarding game, so maybe around Christmas I might, or well, for my birthday, depending on how I feel and time I have, I may get the uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater remaster, but, like, I don't have very much uh, experience with those games. The only time I played them was around a friend's house, and then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Because that, that's my entire thing with skateboarding, so it would probably be a misery fest, <laughs> unless it's like, I can even make a nerd like me good at skating on the game. It was always fun, I remembered it was fun. as a child, but I remember like Spyro being fun as a child and right now I'm crying, so... <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, that didn't deserve any boost, how fucking dare I. What is this, the boost? I don't know. Oh. Please, just let me squeak my way to the finish line. I got like I wouldn't do anything risky, but like I gotta do some risky shit just so that I can make sure that I get some of these blue stars, because I won't be able to get that fucker up there. Oh let's just oh let's just roll our way oh, yeah. oh thank fucking Christ. You schooled him like a bunch of frostbitten, flat footed, molasses eating lead pants wearing cross-eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom. Yeah, we want some shiny stuff, too. God. I just think a lot of the charm for Hunter's gone. Maybe it's just perspective, I don't know. Oh, wow. This, this is fun. Hey guys, look at the immersive gameplay. Yay! I'm the winner. Me, first time. They're just let the thing count through because I'm scared this game will glitch if I go for a portal and then lose my gold forever. Pretty sure that's what happened before. 